Hello guys, it's me YB Models and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint these guys and these guys are the German Infantry in Action uh, from Masterbox um, so yeah, without any further ado let's get right into the video OK guys, so without going into the boring part I already assembled them for you guys so instead of me showing you how I assemble them I'm sure you guys know how German infantry fit together, it's pretty basic, but uh, this video is just going to be me painting them, showing you what techniques I'm going to use and stuff like that. Uh, but these will be in good detail, mainly because there's only four of them, unlike the Russian guys I had, there was like a box set of 16. So I'm going to show you one of them right now, as you can see, I've already done the flesh tone, one minute, focus this I've painted the guy's hands already and the gun I still need to go over there as well but as you can see there's a great amount of detail in these figures uh, that's the reason, one of the reasons why I really like Master Box so that's one guy, um, I'll show you the next one the other two are basically the same uh, I really like this guy. This is uh, one of the reasons why I got this box set, I think, because um, of his position. I mean, I've I've got so many Germans and Russians in the diorama right now. Uh, and it's just nice to have someone that's like getting shot in that position. So, um, right now what I'm going to do is base coat the guys. So, yeah, I'll show you that now. Okay guys, so that's all the four guys base coated in black. Uh, the reason why I done it in black was because uh, when I'm painting on the colour of the uniform I'll leave bits, uh, so it'll bring out shadows and it works quite well. Um, so I, d I just used black for the whole thing, uh, nothing else really. Uh, as you can see here, I've already, as I said, done the hands, mainly because I was sticking the guns on as well. but. Although it's black, you can still see a lot of the fine details on the uniform, which I quite like. Uh, when you're applying black, don't apply too much. Uh, a lot of people like to use airbrush primers. I don't have an airbrush, so I just make do with what I have at the moment. Uh, but anyway, the next stage is I'm going to be painting the trousers. So we're going to work from the bottom to the top. Uh, don't ask why, it's just my way of doing it. Uh, anyway, on to the uh, As you can see, I have uh, chosen to do some German field grey pants and some white. The reason being my diorama is snow themed. I'm doing the Stalingrad diorama with snow. So the reason I've done that is obviously because of that and because most other guys have these kind of uh, patterns on their legs. Well, not exactly patterns. Like, oh, I don't know. Some are white, some are German green. Uh, but yeah, it, as you can see, I've not painted it fully to emphasize the shadows. It works better on the, the white, I think, the white on the black. As you can see here, I've not fully painted it. That works quite well. So, also, you may be wondering where the equipment is, uh, they're still on the sprues, I'm going to paint them separately, reason being I, I don't really like getting like, putting all, everything on and then 
trying to weave my way through the equipment. Uh, so I'll paint that on the sprue and I'll show you later on in the video. But, uh, so the way this will work is uh, he's going to have a white coat because he has green, greenish grey pants. He will have greenish grey uh, coat and then so on so on. So that will be the next bit. Uh, as we'll be doing the coat next. Um, so yeah. completely finished um, I decided to add in some pictures in between the videos to break it up a bit uh, so <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this video guys um, uh, before I finish up um, now that I've finished these guys and they're ready to be placed in and they're weathered and everything uh, I'll show you one Focuses. There we go. So as you can see, now you understand why I done a black base coat. So it could come up. It comes up nicely after the wash. Uh, plus it adds more shadow and stuff and depth to the figures. Um, as you can see, I varied the white and the German grey here. I've done two of each. Um, and that's kind of the theme that I'm going for in my diorama, uh, which is almost done. Literally, I've got two more kits to do and I'm done. That is it. Um, so, next on my list, after I've posted this video, is the Russian guys. So, we'll have a set of four with one injured guy. And then another set of four with one injured guy, and then these two fighting. So after this one, it's going to be this kit here. So back onto these little guys. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, so as you see, I really enjoyed painting these. It was really fun actually doing the. Uh, different techniques and stuff on it um, here's the back of them this guy's my favourite I love his stance but yeah I really enjoyed uh, painting them and building them master box again with such good quality and figures I really recommend them uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know what else to say. So yeah, stay, like I said, stay tuned for the next video on the 135 Eastern Front Series, kit number two, Soviet Infantry. Alright, I'm going to wrap up here, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This has been YB Models. Have a nice day. Goodbye.